Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the AB command in Linux to do some basic load testing for your website. Now, although AB stands for Apache Bench, and although we'll be load testing an Apache website today, you can use the AB command to load test any website, regardless of what web server it's running. So um, I'm gonna walk you through every step of the process here, do a couple load testing tests, and we're just gonna get right into the tutorial here. All right, I have this, uh, you can call it a website. It's just at this IP address and it's just showing you the, the PHP version that's installed on this Apache server. So if you go to that website, this is what you're gonna see. It has a decent amount of content on it just in the form of tables, um, but this is going to be our test website here. Okay, so I have a couple terminal windows open here, actually more than a couple, three. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to log in via SSH to the test server, okay? We're gonna do some monitoring of the test server over here. So up top here, upper left-hand corner, we're gonna do HTOP, which is basically gonna show us um, our CPU utilization and our memory usage. And we're looking at individual CPU uh, CPU processes, how much the, each process is using at any given time, uh, sort it um, with the most one being at the top. And then down here, it's kind of redundant, but we're gonna do, um, you know, if you do free dash M, you can see the memory usage at this point, right? We're only using about a 10th of what we have. We have right around a gigabyte. We're using about hundred megabytes of memory usage. Um, but you know, if you prefix that with watch, the watch command and dash n1 so watch every single second um, we're going to watch the free dash m command so every second this is going to refresh with the current uh, memory utilization so like i said that's redundant because it's up here but i think it's just good to have both of these up on the screen okay and then this third terminal window we are going to log into another separate web server or you know just a separate server and we're going to be doing the Apache bench marking on this one. So this one, this this web server is at IP address ending in 27. We're gonna request um, th this page back here in the background at 228 um, multiple times using the Apache bench command. So let's, let's go ahead and just do that. So um, I'm gonna use my cheat sheet over here and copy the first command that we wanna run. And I'll walk you through it. So AB, and if you don't have um, this installed on your system, um, I believe it comes installed, pre-installed with Apache. There's nothing that you should have to add, uh, but I'll have some documentation about that in the description below. Um, anyway, so AB-N, N is the number of test page requests that you wanna make to the server, right? So in this case, we wanna make a total of 100 requests to that page, specifically this page, right? But at any given time, dash C concurrent, we only wanna have at most 10 requests being made. So basically what that's gonna look like is when we execute this command, this, uh, this command's gonna make 10 requests to this IP address, right? And once one of those 10 requests are fulfilled and it receives a response, then it'll request another make another request, so the 11th request. And then once one of those 10 requests are fulfilled, it'll make the 12th request and so on and so forth until it gets up to 100 requests. And again, at any given time, you can't have more than 10 requests being made. So let's go ahead and execute that. And um, I'll, I'll kind of do a spoiler alert. You're not gonna see much happening over here, but let's, let's see what happens here. So I'm gonna hit enter and that takes, you know, it actually tells you how long it takes. It took uh, 15 hundredths of a second to execute and you know it was anywhere from 13 milliseconds up to 35 milliseconds in um, the time it had to wait between making the request and receiving the first bite back so that's not bad that's the I think the server handled that pretty good and you know we're still sitting down here at the same memory usage and CPU utilization so that's cool um, but let's do a more sophisticated test. Not sophisticated, but a, uh, let's let's hit the server harder. So to do that, we can just bump up our, our number of tests and our number of requests and the number of concurrent 
uh, test that one. So instead of, what do we have before? We had 110, we're gonna do 10,000 and 1,000. So we're gonna make 10,000 total requests and at any given time we can't have more than 1,000 requests being made. So um, the only other change to this command was this dash g out dot text and um, uh, as long as we don't see a, ti see a timeout or anything, uh, we will write the individual data from every single request into a text file so we can look at that when we're done here. So let's go ahead and execute this and again, pay attention to the CPU utilization and the memory usage over on the left hand side. So I'm gonna hit enter now and pretty much right off the bat, we are maxed out on our CPU utilization. We're 4,000 requests in, 5,000 requests in, and our memory usage is slowly growing. We are pretty much two thirds utilized. And um, it seems like the CPU usage is dropping and it kind of dropped back down to zero. So that tells me that uh, most of the requests have been made from from you know this side of the server, meaning most of the um, requests were made to the IP address ending in 228. But because we, well, now we're finished, but because um, the memory usage was so high, those requests were not fulfilled yet. So anyway, um, our memory usage, we are done. Our memory usage is shrinking back down to where it was before. And you can see that um, the longest request took 28 seconds between the time the request was made and the first byte was sent back. So um, I guarantee you if we have this output file and we do, if we look at this output file, and like I said, you have, we'll go back up to the top. Um, basically this last column here is saying how long it had to wait from the time the request was made to the first byte being returned. And you know, in the beginning, some of the first tests, it was only waiting three milliseconds, nine milliseconds, 13 milliseconds, but as you come down here, we won't go through the whole file, we're looking at 100 milliseconds, or like, in other words, a tenth of a second. Then if you go down halfway to the like row 5,000, we're still looking at two tenths of a second. Let's go down three quarters of the way, and you know, we're at three tenths of a second. And then finally, uh, if we go to the last line here, we, ha we see that maximum waiting time of 26.9 seconds. So um, we didn't see any like timeouts or anything like that. All, re all 10,000 requests were made, so that's a good thing. I, I have done tests in the past where it would time out because the server just can't handle it and you would only get like 9,980 some tests out of 10,000. So um, I think it did pretty good. Uh, there's definitely a lot more that you can do with this command, but I just wanted to show you some basic usage of how to use it, do some basic load testing, some basic benchmarking. And um, yeah, I think, I think that's it for this video. Guys, if you have any questions about the AB command or anything along the lines of load testing, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. And if you got some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.